Welcome to Math W53. I'm Professor Thomas Scanlon, and I'll be teaching your class this summer. So as you know, Math W53 is the online summer sessions version of the regular class Math 53 that we teach during the academic year. There's really no difference between the topics that we cover in the summer and the topics that are covered during the academic year. So in this class, you'll be learning about working with functions of several variables, about partial differentiation, about optimization techniques, about integration theories that work in lines, in curves, in surfaces, or over volumes, and some of the fantastic theorems of Green and Stokes, which relate those integration theories between the different dimensions. Now, there are two obvious differences between this class and the class that we teach during the academic year. One has to do with the format in which it's taught, namely that we're online. If you're going to be looking at the material through your computer, and other than at the very end of the class, when some of you will be taking the final exam here in Berkeley, we won't actually be in the same room together discussing mathematics, and learning the subject. That, of course, is something that we've seen through other classes throughout the pandemic. And I'll have a little bit more to say about how we'll actually do it in this class. But there's another feature which is very important about the difference between the class we're doing the summer and the class we do during the academic year. And that just has to do with the time and the pace. During the academic year, you would have 15 weeks to learn multivariable calculus. The summer, you're going to have between seven and eight weeks. Really, it's more like seven and a half, given that we'll have to take a final exam during that eighth week, which means that the pace for this class is about double the pace that you would see during the ordinary academic year. So what is this gonna mean for you is that you will need to put in more time each week to this class than you would the corresponding class during the academic year. Let's come back to the issue about how the class is taught using the remote methods. We've all become familiar with remote instruction, instruction using technologies like Zoom over the past couple of years, whether we like it or not. And I'd have to admit that in many cases, people are not so happy with classes that are taught in this remote format. So what are we going to do about it for this class so that it's a good experience for you and so that you learn multivariate calculus in the best way possible? Now, there is some good news about this class. The first bit of good news is that this class was developed several years ago by a team that worked to professionally produce the lecture videos and to think out how exactly to teach at a distance this topic. So the two aspects of that that are going to be very apparent to you are first, that the lecture videos, which have been recorded by my colleague, Professor Michael Hutchings, are very clear to the point and short enough so that one can pay attention to each one individually and really understands what's being said. The second part, which might not be entirely obvious when you first look at the way the course is set up, is that unlike other classes that have been adapted from a format where an instructor would stand at a board and write and then the students would take notes and do whatever kind of work they would do in the classroom. We've thought through how to break up the different parts of the class in a way that allows you to do as much of the self-study as you can in a pedagogically efficient way. So that has something to do with how we've thought about the class in the past. But like I said, we've had a lot of experience over the past two years with online education, and we've observed ways in which we can improve the experience. So one change that I implemented last year, and which we're going to continue this year, is to have a component of the class where we actually meet together twice per week in small groups to work together on the mathematics, to ask questions, and to have a chance for the instructors and the students to do mathematics together. This is a very important part of the class, which is going to be reflected directly in your grade, but more importantly, in your experience of learning mathematics. And recognizing the importance of this kind of synchronous direct education in mathematics, we need to take it a step further this summer and actually come to some of your discussion sections to work directly with you. Something else that we've recognized is important in learning mathematics, especially in this remote environment, is to make it possible for people to collaborate together and to communicate and ask questions whenever they have those questions, whenever the issues come up in the work that they're doing. So we've implemented several channels that you can use for asking questions, for answering questions, simply for raising concerns and for having a community which is engaged in the study of mathematics. Something else that I think you're going to notice throughout this class that not only are we focused on understanding how to implement algorithms for computing integrals or for finding derivatives or maximizing functions, but we're also going to see to it that you have a good conceptual understanding of how multivariable calculus works. In your future studies, you may be able to use a machine to perform some of the computations that we're going to learn how to do by hand in this class, but the machine is not going to substitute for your understanding. I can keep talking about this, 
But really, it's about time for us just to stop and to wait until the summer to when we can actually work together on understanding multivariable calculus, which is a rich and deep and important subject. And I'm very happy that we can study it together.